Exploring other planets is one of mankind's most cherished dreams. At the very beginning of the space era, enthusiasts were certain that in the 21st century, our closest planets in the solar system would be thoroughly explored. In reality, however, things proved to be much more complicated than expected. And so far, apart from the Moon and the Earth, of course, no human has set foot on the surface of any other celestial body. Many believe that manned flights will not pay. Others doubt if they'll be in demand. Still, there is a good chance of visiting other worlds. And it's closer than may seem at first glance. The American company SpaceX is one of those who are essentially the tip of the spear in space exploration. This private commercial organization was founded by Elon Musk back in 2002. Six years after its foundation and after a lot of research and a number of failed experiments, the Falcon 1 launch vehicle developed by SpaceX engineers successfully went into our Earth's orbit for the first time. This was proof that space exploration doesn't have to be in the sole domain of the state. In the 12 years since its first groundbreaking success, SpaceX accomplished over a hundred of successful launches and also delivered tens of thousands of kilos of useful cargo both to the ISS from the Earth and the other way around in total. In addition, since 2020, the reusable spacecraft Crew Dragon has been on two successful flights to the International Space Station, carrying astronauts on board. It goes without saying that the SpaceX company is advancing by leaps and bounds. One may debate the reasons of its dazzling success till the cows come home, but this is rather pointless and unduly disrespectful. Let's better direct our gaze ahead into the future and envisage what fantastic achievements we may be looking to witness as soon as the nearest decades. SpaceX is currently working on three main tasks in space exploration. First and foremost, it is an international project of a manned flight to the Moon known as Artemis, which they are working on in collaboration with NASA, ESA, Canada, Japan and a number of other countries. Also, work is underway on the global satellite internet constellation Starlink, that provides high-speed satellite internet access. Last but not least, a manned mission to Mars is currently in the pipeline. The program Artemis, aimed at exploring the Moon, was announced by the US government in 2017. It is suggested that the project is broken down to at least three stages, with the start of the first one planned for the end of 2021. It involves orbiting the Earth's natural satellite using an unmanned spacecraft, with its subsequent return to the Earth. At the second stage, a crew of four astronauts is supposed to orbit the Moon without landing on it. At the third stage, planned for 2024, four astronauts are supposed to land on the surface of our Earth's satellite. The upcoming mission to the Moon may be seen as a practice run and the first step to a manned flight to Mars. Within the framework of the Artemis project, the Super Heavy rocket booster and the SpaceX Starship will be tested in real conditions. Moreover, a space station is planned to be created in the Moon's orbit, which may become a stopover platform for travelers bound for the Red Planet. In the next 12 months, SpaceX will have to launch its spaceship to high and low altitude orbits in order to see how to adjust its construction to perfection. These flights will include scheduled cargo delivery flights to the International Space Station, as well as launching communication satellites into the Earth's orbit. Eventually, Starship is supposed to supersede the currently used Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. The new generation spacecraft will be able to boost up to 100 tons of payload into orbit within the course of one flight only. At the same time, the cost of one kilo of cargo is supposed to be at an all-time low. Mars is at its closest point to the Earth once every two years. Obviously, it makes sense to take advantage of this position of the planets, as it is the best and most convenient for traveling from one to the other. The nearest time the planets will be their closest point is in the summer 2022. This is when two unmanned cargo spaceships are scheduled to be launched on their way to the Red Planet. It will take them from several months to one year to reach their destination. Their mission will be to deliver around 100 tons of cargo to the surface of Mars, power supply facilities, mining equipment, automated machinery and a lot more. 
The main objective at this stage will be to reconnoitre the ground, to search for water ice and to take care of infrastructure for future colonists. Remotely operable machinery will lay the groundwork for safe landings of future crewed missions. For example, it will need to clean the area from rocks, which are potentially hazardous, and to carry out geological prospecting, particularly focusing on finding water ice, which is vital for future colonists' survival and generally for developing a settlement. Water isn't only a substance vital for any biological life forms, but it's also indispensable in the electrolytic reaction that produces oxygen and hydrogen as it runs its course. The former is needed for breathing and for burning fuel, and the latter may be transformed into methane when coupled with CO2. Methane will be used as rocket fuel. The following stage of Mars colonization is scheduled for 2024. This is the next time Mars will be the shortest distance away from the Earth. To be more exact, approximately 57 million kilometers. All in all, four launches are planned. Two cargo flights and two manned flights. The spacecraft will travel for several months and reach their destination in 2025. Shortly after they get some distance away from the Earth, it will be impossible to catch up with them. So in case of unforeseen developments, they will be left to their own devices with no assistance from the Earth to count on. Spending several months on a flight in interplanetary space is quite a tough ordeal. There are many important and complex tasks the constructors of the crewed spaceships will have to handle. Not only will the available room have to be used as efficiently as possible, but will also have to provide conditions good enough for the journey to be comfortable and safe. The expected number of the crew is several dozen people. They will have both private quarters and common areas as well as gyms to help prevent unwanted changes in their organisms that a long stay in a weightless environment may cause. In addition, a large portion of the payload bay of the ship will be occupied by storage rooms, various equipment and life support systems. Protection from radiation is a crucial point in interplanetary travel, as the rocket will be pointed in the direction opposite from the sun for most of the journey. The living quarters are planned to be located in its front part. Thus, the storage rooms and other sections not intended for the crew to stay in permanently will be taking the brunt, absorbing most of the harmful solar radiation and so shielding the travelers from it. The main goal for the Red Planet colonists will be to build up a Martian base with adequate conditions where humans can stay for prolonged periods. That includes creating favorable conditions for growing plants and deploying machinery and equipment for producing oxygen and rocket fuel. Even though it may sound rather fanciful, Elon Musk claims to create a fully-fledged Martian colony by the end of next decade at the latest. This colony should be able not only to remain autonomous for prolonged periods, but also successfully develop. However, the settlement on an alien planet may encounter unforeseen problems and suffer from their dire consequences. The project Biosphere 2 is an example that illustrates just that. Within the framework of this project, a balanced biological system was supposed to be sustained under a sealed dome. The experiment showed that creating an isolated ecosystem is an elaborate process fraught with unforeseen pitfalls. The long and the short of it is that the performance of the ecosystem used in the project wasn't up to the mark. As a result, the system wasn't able to provide the potential settlers with either oxygen or sufficient amounts of food. Another danger to be reckoned with is cosmic radiation. Mars is devoid of a magnetic field which would protect its surface from cosmic rays. That is why radiation protection should be high on the list of priorities when constructing the base. Even so, there still remains a perceptible threat the Mars explorers are exposed to. Cosmic radiation may cause intoxication and general weakening of the settlers' organisms, as well as raise the risk of getting infected and developing tumors. Another challenge that should be taken into account is psychological compatibility, or rather incompatibility, of the colonists. Conflicts are to be expected in an isolated community, which is a well-known phenomenon. In psychology, it's referred to as cabin fever or confined environment psychology, which is manifested in heightened irritability of the members of an isolated group. Tempers become frayed for no apparent reason, and the consequences may be grave, with the parties fighting it out and even sustaining physical injuries. Let's hope that ways will be found to handle this unpleasant phenomenon. It is quite probable that first colonists will never have a chance of getting back to their native planet. Disconcertingly, Martian colonization is also likely to involve human casualties. Still, 
Elon Musk has made a pledge to develop the first Martian settlement into a real city by 2050. This should be facilitated by the development of an interplanetary transportation system, which is something SpaceX claims to have in the pipeline as well. Time will show whether it will work out or not. Of course, today talks about a Martian city have an air of science fiction about them, but come to think of it, just a hundred or even fifty years ago, talks of many things we're now familiar with would appear to be flights of fancy. Mankind is constantly forging ahead, and new research results and discoveries are announced by the scientific community every day. That is why the chance to travel to Mars is real. If not for us, then for our descendants. But of course, it's up to every individual to believe how big this chance actually is. Let's keep in touch.